Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Debbie and I read a lot of books. The next one on Borrow Box I've got reserved, I have It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I read it End With Us and I want to see how that story goes forward. I know not everybody likes Colleen Hoover. The fact is you don't, you don't have to read it if you don't want to. I want to see where that story finishes. I've also got I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. That should be available to me in February. I've reserved The Mother by TM Logan and also The Escape by Ruth Kelly. You can see a pattern with the books I'm reading. And then I have also now started officially the uh, Paris Beaufront books by Sarah Nofke and Michael Andel. By the time this is up, my first review for the first book of Paris should have gone up. I was amazed when my first theatre review of the year went up and I got over 100 views in less than 48 hours, which was mind-boggling to me. I will continue to do more theatre stuff, I think, because it's obvious that people do enjoy when I do talk about the shows at the Playhouse. So, uh, yeah, I will try to continue that for people who have tuned in for the theatre reviews. We are just coming to the end for me. This will be going up in February, more likely, based on how many videos I have to edit. Oliver should, will be over by the time this has gone up. And I will say, I have now seen it seven times, and I have one more point of view to watch it from, um, to be able to see it from every single point of view in the theatre. So, I, I told Phil, I, one of our DMs, duty managers, that I just had one spot left to watch it from, and he was just like, I will make it happen, Debs. I will make it happen. Shout out to Phil. I, he probably doesn't even watch my videos, but I'll say a shout out to him anyway. Because he always likes to remind me that we started together on Narnia. Which is coming back, by the way. My first show there was five, six years ago with The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe in the round. And it is coming back this Christmas, 2024. But it won't be in the round this time. I was upset when I was so old about that out. <laughs> And it's not a secret that it's not in the round. I um, commented on the Instagram post saying that it was coming back and it was like, oh, this was my first show, is it going to be in the round again? And I just got off like, no, no it's not. <laughs> Unless they change their minds, you never know. I was gutted when they started redecorating the front of the theatre, to be honest, because we used to have the Aslan puppet that was used in the production from five or six years ago. We used to hang, have it hanging over the front room cafe and then a few months ago it went missing and it was just like, where's Aslan gone? And then they announced that Narnia was coming back and it was just like, oh, has it got something to do with that? And then when we were brought in for Oliver as staff to view all our fire exits with Oliver being in the round, I saw Aslan backstage and I was so happy. It was just like, oh, I wonder if they're prepping him for the next production. So that would be great if we had the same puppet again. Aslan is backstage. He is backstage and I was very happy to see him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time with another video. Stay safe, everybody. Love you all. Bye.